taking the mound for the Cougars, number 42, Preston Allen. Preston Allen going to pitch. 13 and a third innings pitched, eight hits, six runs, four walks, 12 strikeouts, a 4.05 ERA. Has allowed one home run on the year. He's going to get some warm-up pitches. We'll go to a quick commercial and be right back with you in just a moment after this. Here is Norris, and that is a ball, 1-0. New pitcher, Allen, 1-0. He hits that one on the ground. Mendieta going to jump for it. He's going to throw it across. He could have tagged him, and he's out. I thought he was safe over there at first. Mendieta could have just tagged him and avoided the throw altogether, but they'll get out of the inning nonetheless and go to the bottom of the second, 6-2. And we'll be right back for the bottom half in just a moment. Here's Melendez, and first pitch is a ball, 1-0 to Melendez. Here in the top of the third, Melendez has popped out to the pitcher trying to bunt earlier. He's 0-1. He hits one high in the air. I think the third baseman, Mendieta, has it. Copeland looking at it as well. From a distance with their hair, you can barely tell those guys apart. It's out number one as Mendieta catches it in the air. And here's Amir Pinheiro here in the top of the third. One zero here to Pinheiro. Pinheiro was hit by a pitch in the second. Swings and misses 1-1. One, one. One, one. He will not hold up in time. 1-2. One, one, two pitch. Close pitch, a ball, 2-2. Two, two. I think Allen wanted that one, 2-2. Two, two. Now to Pinheiro. He hits that one in the air, and the left fielder coming on. He's going to catch it in the air. Medina gets the out there. And left, and here's Trevino who reached on an air. Reached first on an error by the shortstop, Copeland. He's going to pick it up with runs at first and second to throw it to third, but he bobbled it and everybody was safe. Swing to miss, 0-1. Trina 0 for 10 on the year. Outside, 1-1. One, one. Ball and strike. That is a ball, 2 1. Two balls, one strike, two outs here in the top of the third. Which means the nine hole hitter and shortstop. He will hit that one out of play, 2 2 now. Two, two. Two outs here. He will strike him out and will go to the bottom of the third. Six to two, Galveston. Oh, 
All right, everybody, welcome back in. Here's Johnny B. He struck out twice. He's 0 for 2 in this one. He's going to lead off the fourth inning. First, Allen will be Johnny Bissayon, Cameron, and Nickel, 1, 2, and 3. Swing and a miss, 0-1 for Johnny B. Second on the team in home runs, even though he's played a limited amount. 0-1 pitch, a swing and a tip, 0-2. He's in a hole again after striking out the first two at-bats. O2 here to Johnny B. And he strikes him out for a third time. Johnny B doesn't like the call. The fans don't like him not liking the call, it sounds like. As Johnny B goes down and strikes the leadoff hitter for three straight at bats. Goes down looking or swinging. Cameron grounded out and walked. He's 0 for 1. A strike on the outside corner, 0-1. Seems like the Galveston hitter is not too pleased with the strike zone. Cameron shaking his head after that one, 0-1. That'll bounce, 1-1. One, Ball one. and a strike. He hits that one on a line right to Copeland. Doesn't move a step right in his glove, and that's out number two. As Evan Cameron lines out to Brett Copeland. Here's the five-cent man, Brandon Nickel. He grounded out and walked. Did drive in a run on the walk as the bases were loaded. And here he is with two outs in the top of the fourth in a 6-2 to two game. Allen has been coasting so far. 1-0 here. Nickel, a big threat at the plate. Second in the region in home runs. Leads his team in RBIs. That's a ball 2-0 now. Not a guy you want to fall behind generally. Two zero. Swings and misses, 2-1. Nickel, a lot of pop. The ball jumps off his bat. Usually when he makes contact, it's very well hard hit. But uh, does strike out at times. Second on the team in strikeouts. That is a ball 3-1. Very, very good player all around though for Galveston. He's committed to Southwest Arkansas, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. 3-1. Outside, he'll walk for a second time, and that'll bring up McCloskey, who had a two-run single in the second. Nickel walked twice and grounded out. Good eye from him today. McCloskey reached on an air to start the second and drove in two on a single in the second. There's only two plate appearances. He's going to bat here in the top of the fourth with two outs. That is going to bounce. 1-0. That is a ball. 2-0. Good count here from McCloskey. That ball hit. Foul. I didn't even see it. I couldn't even see the ball. 2-1. Warden up over Blend four to nothing. 
Saying Jack over Alvin nine to one. If Blinn loses this game, they will face Galveston. If Alvin comes back and wins, Blinn will face Galveston. Two one. And that is high. Three one. But it's looking like Blinn will face Galveston on Tuesday. And I believe three o'clock at Blinn Stadium. Up in Bryan, I believe. 3-1. Swing and a miss. McCloskey swinging hard, and he cannot connect. A full count now with two outs here. First, Allen. Nickel over at first. Full count payoff pitch here from Allen to McCloskey. He will strike him out. And they will go to the bottom of the fourth. Six to two. Be right back with you in just a moment. All right, everybody, welcome in. Top of the fifth, Armas. First pitch swing, and he gets a single between short and third. And here is Norris going to come up with Armas over at first. The second hit of the day. The only other hit was a two-run single by McCloskey who started off the game on the mound. Now Norris, he's reached on an error and grounded out. He is 0 for 2. He's going to face Allen. Throw over to first. None time. Norris, the six-hole hitter and center fielder. That is a strike on the outside corner, 0-1. No balls and a strike here to Norris. Runner's going to go. He's going to swing, and that ball will get away, and Armas is going to get up and stay at second. 0-2 now. Stolen base from Armas. I think it was a hit and run, Norris. Desperately tried to reach that one and could not. No balls and two strikes here to Tyron Norris. A two pitch, and he will swing and miss, throw down a third. Mendieta are going to leap over the body of Armas. He's at third. One down as Norris strikes out. That will bring up Melendez. Next up, Melendez. Two stolen bases for Armas. Already here in this inning. Melendez popped up to first and to third. Armas has been on base three times, having a good day. Hit that one on the ground. Looks like a run will score. It will indeed. He'll bobble it and throw it to first. They'll call him out at first. A close play. Seven to four is the score. Two outs now. Melendez. That was a really close play at first. Next up, Pinheiro. An RBI though for Melendez on the ground out. Pinheiro was hit by a pitch and flown out to left. That is going to be low 1-0. I think he was safer first, or safer out at first. He thought he was safe. Yeah, I thought he was safe too. One zero. That is low and away two zero. It's one of those situations Martinez just could not. He kept, was, like, was there. He had to play. Just was like worrying too much, I think, and he couldn't get it cleanly. Two zero now to Pinheiro. and that is a close pitch for a ball three zero. Three balls and no strikes, two outs. 
That is a strike, 3-1. The 3-0 gimme fastball like clockwork. And we're now at 3-1, a good count for Pinheiro. Here in the top of the fifth in a 7-4 game. He will check swing, bunt that one. Copeland going to charge. He's going to fire it over to first. And that is out number three, a good play from Copeland. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth, 7-4, and we'll be right back in just a moment. All right, everybody, welcome in to the top of the sixth. Here is Trevino. It'll be 9-1-2. and two. Trevino, Bissayon, and Cameron. Next up, Trevino. Ball outside, 1-0. One zero pitch. He hits it high in the air. Looks like the second baseman has it. The right fielder comes on, and he will slide and make the out. For out number one here in the top of the sixth. Here is Bisayon, who struck out three times. 0 for 3. Outside, 1-0. Oh. One oh count. He hits one right up the middle. After three strikeouts, he gets a single there. Back in the right direction for Johnny B. And here is Evan Cameron. Two-run game here. Cameron grounded out, walked, and lined out. 0 for 2. That is a strike to Cameron. 0-1. Warden up over Blint, 6-1, to one, the latest update. If that lead holds up, a hit and run executed to perfection right where the second baseman would have been his first and third with one out as Cameron gets the single and Bissayon running ends up at third. Nickel. Here is the five-cent man, Brandon Nickel, with a chance to drive in a run. He did earlier with a walk. He's 0-1 for 1 with two walks and an RBI. Team leader in RBIs. The man you want up in this spot, that's for sure. Runners on the corners and one down, but they do have a double play possibility in order. Nickel grounded out in the first, walked in the second, which drove in a run and walked in the fourth. Here's the five-cent man. First pitch, he hits it very high. Looks like Copeland has it. That's out number two. Nickel pops out to Copeland. And here's McCloskey. McCloskey reached on an error, singled in two runs, and struck out. Galveston did lead 6-2 to two for a little while. Up until the fourth inning. Now it is 9-7. Coastal Bend has the lead. Coastal Bend has taken the first three games of this series. That is a strike, 0-1. Condi in the bullpen warming up. I'm honestly surprised to see how many actual pitchers have pitched in this as I highly expected them to pitch position players repeatedly. That is a 
Roll back to the pitcher and the run scores. Johnny B steals home. Nine to eight. Wow. One one. It's a mistake, huh? One one. Nine to eight here. Cameron at first. Two outs for McCloskey. Runner's going to go down a second. And he's safe at second. A steal for Cameron. And is that a ball or a strike? 2-1, yeah. Stolen base for Cameron. DeBission steals home. 2-1. That ball hit high in the air. Another pop-up. We've had a lot of those today. Ranging over to get it. And he catches it behind the plate. That's out number three. It's 9-8. Bottom of the six coming up here in just a moment after this. 